we have now had the highest close on record for Bitcoin and we are right below the all-time high. Where will this rally take us? That's the question we try to answer on this episode of the Bitcoin Minute. All this exciting stuff is happening right after Bitcoin has had the largest dollar gains of any month in history. Last month, we saw gains in excess of $18,000. That is 43.71%. Now, there are a few times in history, notably back in 2017, when we did have months that had a higher percentage gain. We did have months which gains exceeded last month's only on a percentage basis. On a purely dollar basis, last month was the largest gain Bitcoin has ever seen, $18,000 plus dollars. And it's only the 4th of March, and it's looking to be like March may exceed that month as well. I think one thing is clear now, and that is, as far as Bitcoin goes, we are in a whole new frontier. After the ETFs got launched, it was a game changer and continues to be a game changer. In a previous episode, we discussed how Bitcoin has only ever had six consecutive months of gains, never seven. It's looking as if this rally will break that pattern and we will have indeed seven months of consecutive gains. However, Bitcoin has entered extreme greed on the fear and greed index recently and with all things looking so incredibly bullish now might be the time we finally get that correction everyone was waiting for we are going back to our Elliott wave count to try and see if we can use that tool to predict where this current rally might take us to in this instance wave 5 has yet to finish it has yet to show It has entered into the ABC correction phase. When we look at wave one and compare it to wave three, we get a clean 1.618 extension or a 1.618 magnitude of wave one equals our wave three. If you look at our third wave compared to our fifth wave, we had a pause at a one-to-one relationship. We had almost a pause at the 0.618% relationship and that is a usual target for the fifth wave to go. On an extended fifth however you can see up to a 1.618 of wave one but in this instance we actually have a 2.618 extension of wave one very close to where a 1.618 of wave three takes us to I'm looking towards 77 79,000 somewhere in that area to be where this fifth wave finally concludes for those of you who are taking our trades we entered last Monday at approximately 54,300 over the week we raised our stop originally it was at 53,000 and we raised it earlier this week to 56 and just yesterday to $60,000. We will look to move our stop up again this week and our target remains seventy nine dollars to $78,000 for this trade. So once again, like we said in our intro, we are at record levels. This blue line here represents the all-time highest daily close on record, which we just surpassed on March 4th. This second blue line represents the all-time high intraday, and we are fastly approaching that. I ended the show last week with saying I'll see you next week, and I'm sure much higher prices will be with me. And I am saying the same thing this week. I'm looking towards 79, 78,000 by the end of this week, beginning of next week. We'll talk to you then. This has been Joseph Wagner.